Good morning. I'm Larry Kirkpatrick, and I'd like to share a devotional thought with you today, today from Psalm 125. Let me read it. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forever. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous reach out their hands to iniquity. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good, and to those who are upright in their hearts. As for such as turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them away with the workers of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. Interesting five verses going on here. Starting off with trust. If we trust in the Lord, we will be immovable. But a lot of times people don't, don't really try to trust. And then they're shaky. They're all over the place. And so we need to be trusting in the Lord. That's like number one. And then we have um, the Lord surrounding his people, trusting in him, and then he protects us. And so we have that. Uh, then we have verse three, telling us that uh, wickedness, the ruling of wickedness, isn't going to endure indefinitely. And indeed, we need to be separating from all wickedness right now. This is the time. This is the place. It's not, it's not for two years from now or two months from now or two days from now. The time to separate from all wickedness for you and I today, absolutely today. And we're training for eternity. Verse 4 is uh, rather striking and a little bit problematic to some people. Again, it says, do good, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are upright in their hearts. Well, you and I might not feel very much that we are upright in our hearts. We sense the depravity. We sense the uh, the selfishness that we are so used to seeing uh, having come. But look, there is a difference. Are you upright in your heart? God can help you and I to be upright in our hearts. He can put his goodness in, and then his goodness can come out to others. And so the Lord is for those who do good on planet Earth. He's not against us. And then, of course, the last verse tells us that uh, those who are doing wickedness, God will lead them away and be led away to destruction. And so it finally closes with the statement, you know, shalom on Israel, peace on Israel. We want there to be peace, peace among God's people. Let's work together for peace. Let's bite our tongue before we gossip. Let's say good things when we might have an inclination to say bad things. Let's do some training for heaven, training for eternity. I believe it'll, it'll work out well as we go that way. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, this is quite an interesting uh, word. Help us to learn to trust in you. We just don't have enough trust in the right peace. The right peace is you. Help us to have more trust in you. Strengthen us. Help us to separate from wicked things even now. There's no time to waste. Let's get away from it. And Lord, help us to do good. and pour You pour some of your good out into this world through us. Lord, please be with us. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you and keep you today. It's going to be a good day, and if there's trouble, the Lord will be with us. We'll make it through Jesus.